Hi everyone, this is the video tutorial for the Camtoy pins and handles. The first shape we're going to place into the work plane is going to be the cylinder. You actually do not need to change its diameter, so it should be one inch, except for the height, which should be 0.125, which is one eighth. Next, we're going to import a second cylinder, diameter of which should be 0.25. And you do not need to place this pin on top of this little disc, and so you're just going to select them. You're going to align them to the center. Once that's done, you can group them together. And there you go. This is going to be the rotating pins, which you're going to move up and down in the cam toy, and then on top of which you can place um, whatever designs you really wish to. If you watch the first video, you'll notice that the diameter of the cutout holes is 0.28 instead of 0.25. The reason we do that is because there needs to be a clearance space when you're printing. Two shapes generally, if printed um, the same size, a hole and say uh, a fill-in pin, um, there seems to be interferences with the materials. So we tr generally try and leave a 0.02 inch clearance on all those parts. Okay, so to make the rotating handle, we're going to import another cylinder. We're going to change this to 0.25 again. Great. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate this pin onto its side. You can type this in manually to 90 degrees or use one of the arrows to rotate the piece. Next, we're going to import a whole box. We're going to use the work plane. We're going to press on top of that work plane. We're going to select the piece that's going to be our handle. We're going to press D on our keyboard to drop it in. Now, next thing you can do is what I find to be the easiest is to select one of the box and then click and drag one of the corners so it's like nice and big. And then you're going to move this handle right on top of the piece. And I believe our clearance is going to be 1 16th. So in order to do that, we're going to edit the grid. Nope, just kidding, not edit the grid, edit the snap grid. We're going to change it to 1 16th. Once we've done that, we're going to select the handle and we can either use a little black arrow on top or the down arrow key on our keyboard. Uh, just kidding, the down arrow key doesn't work. So, okay, black arrow. We're going to drag it down to the first snap in that it stops at, which is 0 0.063, which according to our snap grid should be 1 16th. When that's done, once that's done, select the two shapes and group them. Great. Place the work plane back to where it was. Reselect the shape, press D on your keyboard. You're going to increase the length of this handle to four inches. We can import a box and the width of it should be an inch. Depth should be 0.25 and height. 0.125. Once you have that, select the two shapes, align them, align them to the center, and then to one of the top corners right there. So you should be able to see a flat bottom to this handle, and I'll show you why we do that in the next video. Once you group all the pieces together, you can export them as an STL.